So when we talk about the set solver or the set problem, uh, means that um, given a formula, it needs to be on propositional logic for the set. It doesn't need to be propositional logic. It can use arithmetic and bit vector and all of this in the case of SMG solvers. But given this problem, it is going to decide if it's feasible or not to solve it. The important thing uh, to remember about the solutions that comes from the set or the SMT solvers are that they need to be sound and complete. And what does it mean? So sound means that the algorithm used to find the results are not going to find untrue results. And complete means that the algorithm is going to check all possible inputs, so all permutations like we did in the truth table. So meaning that if the set problem gives you a solution that it's sound and complete, it means that it worked on all possible input like we did in the truth table and got the right answer all the time. So this have been used for automated uh, test case generation, like for fuzzing, uh, for formal verification of hardware and software and so on. So the whole idea of using SMT solvers for security is to create a model that reasons about security properties that we want to check. The SMT solvers are very strong also on the Langside community that uh, use the SMT solvers for formal verification of the language specification, like building restrictions inside the parser and the compilers so that they are sure that in the end, the binary is secure via the language specification is secure. So you can see SMT solvers like uh, applying mathematics to computer science. <laughs>